Smitty. Hey, Smitty again. Some of you have uh, talked to me about my sun top. Well, it's not like I didn't build it for any special reason. I had a very good special reason. I had a little bit of skin cancer working on the flight line uh, for many years. About 15 years in my military career working out there with the jets. Found a little speck on my forehead, went in and seen the doctor and they, from across the room they said, hey, it looks like skin cancer. Within two days they were cutting it out of my forehead. A little bitty skin cancer. Took about half my forehead out to get that thing, uh, made sure I didn't have it. So I take care of my skin. Um, I'm kind of thick headed. I have to learn the hard way. So um, you wear sunscreen all you want. The secret is of staying in the shade, covering your arms, covering your head, uh, your ears and stuff like that. I'm not going to preach to you. I'm just telling you why I built it. But a lot of you have showed interest in this thing. So what I want to do tonight uh, it's evening here in Las Cruces, middle, it's, it's early October, mid-October, I guess, Let's see, uh, first week of October, and it's been in the 90s down here, it is really warm down here for this time of year, so it's nice in the morning and kind of hot, so I'm going to keep wearing this uh, sunscreen on my thing, the sun top, I'll call it, Benemy top, uh, kayak cover, whatever you want to call it, uh, until it cools down and, and uh, even then I'll probably uh, ride with it. The sun's hot and, and it shines a lot in the winter as well. So anyway, I'm gonna, let's uh, go, th I'll, I'll take this thing apart for you and then we'll, we'll talk about how I built it. Let's go over what I had talked about in my earlier video, uh, my first content video that I did on accessories and modifications. Uh, that one's the highest hitting of all my YouTube so far. I've only been on about a month. Um, but this this type of stuff here is what you guys really want to see and i've been getting comments and then my locals around here want that's when they stop and talk to me about it they really want to know about this so let's go over it so it's a kayak cover that i got off amazon and it was uh, it was under 50 bucks and um they come in multiple colors purple orange khaki, camouflage, heck, they even got LED lights that go in here that are USB rechargeable. And uh, it comes with a bungee cord that that uh, you tie down to your front of your kayak. Uh, but I'll go over the modifications, what I've done, and what you've got to do if you want to try this. So let's start at the very front of the the cover and, and work our way back and then I'm going to take it apart for you and then you'll see how it's built. First thing I want to talk about is the bungee cord was removed that came on it because this is paracord. It's no longer bungee. Yeah, it moves. It needs to move, but not like the bungee was flopping around. This is way more stout. And then I, I tied knots in it, a really good knot, and then I uh, heat shrinked it to keep the knot from coming untied. It's got a, this came with with it from the uh, manufacturer, tied it off there. This uh, reflector was mounted lower. I moved it up and I ran an eye bolt through here and put a nut down on the bottom under here. Let's see if I can get down there and see it. There's a nut down here and tighten it down and that gives you the eye bolt to tie this off to. And this is a uh, carabiner quick disconnect okay makes sense okay and then once you take the tension off and let it go it just pops up okay that all makes sense I'm sure well, let's go on to the next part so the next thing I'm going to do is take my flag off because I, it, it doesn't need to come off even when I pull the top off but I want to get it out of the way so you can see better. So I've got a bungee that's holding it into the part of it here. Remove that bungee cord and then my flag comes out. And this flag is from Terra Trike and it was quite a bit longer and I cut a lot of it down. One, I don't like them way up in the air, um, but uh, 
I'll show you why I had to do that. So this top was quite a bit higher than what it is now. So what I did is I went a little above my head and decided how long the legs needed to be. And I cut the, the uh, canopy top poles. They're like tent poles that you see in a, a tent. And I cut them down to lower. Once I pull this apart, you'll see what I mean. Now I'm going to lift the top out. And this is how easy it is. I'll put this down over here. Okay, now I'm going to go over how this is all built in here, how I attached this to this PVC pipe that I made. It's PVC um, Schedule 40. I think it's three quarter inch. How I did this and how, uh, why, and how I attached it and how I keep it from moving. You'll note right here that the Terra trike has these flagpole holes on each side of their top of their seat and you can put them on either side and I'm still using those for flagpoles but I had to use it to mount uh, this piece of Schedule 40 uh, PVC and um, I put heat shrink here and on the other side, just like in the same location, so it couldn't slide down on either side, so it wouldn't tilt like this. This part I'm holding in my hand is an electrical uh, component for electricians. They use it in the, to do uh, run conduit. And I'm not an electrician. I really don't know what they use it for. This is a number one... Um, Three quarter inch, so that's why I got it for the three quarter inch um, PVC. But right over here, you'll note right in here, this piece is mounted to my headrest pole, and it's mounted like like this, and tightened down, and I drilled a hole through it up through the top and bolted it down right here with the nut and bolt uh, and and um, that's what holds it to the trike steady and that's why I needed to have these uh, heat shrink over here so it wouldn't tilt either side because it's pivoting off this point so now it won't go it won't it, it's not going nowhere it, this is all on here Another thing I did, uh, watching my dad and brother do uh, mortise and tendon building, a lot of people don't know that uh, things under tension and things under stress, like in a bind, uh, give a lot of strength to whatever you're making. So watching them build that mortise and tendon shed that they built, I decided to uh, drill this uh, flag pole hole through the PVC at an angle. In other words, I didn't want it to slip through easily. I wanted it to be tight. So at an angle, this uh, aluminum pole is pretty stout for as thick as it is. It's a heck of a lot stronger than you think it is um, up to a certain point. Uh, but for this application, it's, it's very strong. So these are under tension and it's bowed and it's it's wedged in there on both sides are the same way so that adds some uh, rigidity to the system I, want, I didn't want to add a lot of parts to make it heavy the trick is keeping it light out here on the end I used another one of these uh, electrical components and mounted it right here to the end and you can see it's black and I drilled the top of this out big enough to accept this quarter inch uh, nipple that's four inches long and it's threaded on top and bottom so what I did let me move the camera down and I'll show you what I did from a better angle so when I was at the hardware store buying these components I found a nut that was small it's in the same plumbing section 
small enough to go inside of this bracket here. I had to open it up a little bit. You can see it's a little bit wider. And it, the top's drilled out to accept the size of the, the threaded portion. And that nut is what's holding this up against this bracket. And it bottoms out on the PVC nicely. But even as tight as I could get this with this uh, clamp, it still was moving on the PVC because it's plastic. Polyvinyl chloride. So I, uh, I drilled through this bracket here all the way through and put a nut and bolt through it and tighten it up. That way, this won't rotate on this axis of the of the PV uh, of the Schedule 40 pipe. That's what keeps this pretty tight in here. And then I uh, found another electrical component that says it's um, I can't read this size because I'm blind as a bat, but uh, it's half inch. Half inch uh, electrical uh, knockout plug. And I, I pulled the edges down. And I don't know if you can see, but it's epoxied in there. And I let it sit. And I just thought that, that it finished it off a little better than having a PVC cap out here glued on. It looks, and, it, and I painted this, it, you know, it's white PVC water pipe. And I painted it black. Um, and then that top over there the flag poles slide down into the into the top of the nipple right here it just simply goes in this hole right here in the nipple and it goes down four inches when you pull the bungee cord down in the front remember what i told you about um being under tension sprung tension very powerful force. Um, the same effect, it, it, it wedges this uh, flagpole down in this hole. It, it, the aluminum, this, this aluminum that's in the top over there, the, the blue part laying on the floor, is the same material as this. Well, when you put, pull the nose down on this thing, it has a lot of force against it. It puts, it bends it against it, so it doesn't want to slide out. I've driven this thing in um, 30 mile an hour, uh, 20, 25 mile an hour going downhill, but I've been in wind gusts uh, that far exceeded the my miles per hour that I was, I was traveling, and um, it hasn't came out. So I do have some ideas to secure it a, a little bit more, uh, robustly and I'll go over that uh, here in a minute um, but so far I've had this on a month and it's been nothing but a, a easy easy peasy uh, what that did for us um, you people that might want to do this is it gave me locations to tie off stuff uh, you can see that my my LED um, brake uh, flash and warning light is mounted to that PVC pipe. It fits nicely. This Teratrike bag is supposed to be turned around and hung on the back of the seat down there. That's what these clips are for. But I like it better backwards because I can unzip it easy this way. I put a lot of stuff in there. Got water in there, I got some gloves, I got all sorts of goodies in there. A uh, poncho, a rain poncho. It also gave me tie-off points to put another light. I, I keep an extra light. It's not a real high dollar one, it's just an extra light to, if this other one fails. I got two of these. I got one in a bag and one up here. Um, and then these bags are off of a handlebar for a bicycle. Uh, goes across the handlebars. Got these at Amazon. 19 bucks. They've got reflective on them. Um, I put a lot of stuff in here. Um, put keys in here. I put um, 
sunscreen, I put bug spray, my lock and, and chain are over here, my cable to lock my trike up. So, and then I had to build it that way because the top is wider than the trike. The trike is only this wide. The top's got to fit out here. In fact, that's how you adjust this before you drill it. You build the whole thing like I uh, so showed you, but you leave these for last. You go ahead and put your top in this, and then you, you spread it to where it's taut, as tight as you can get it. Some way clamp it off, have a buddy hold it, whatever. And you've already pre-drilled this out right through the center right here, going right through it. And you mark this PVC when you drill this, you mark it, and then you go ahead and drill your, your PVC and, and, and then run your bolt through it. That way when you put your top on, it's tight from side to side. And that's how you achieve your, your tautness. So do this last, this both sides. After you put your top together, build it, cut it down. I took off probably, I don't know how far this goes in there. This goes about four to five inches down inside this trike, uh, the stock factory uh, flag setting poles. Um, it's probably down into here. So that's how much I cut these down. You know, every person's different. I'm a little under six foot. If you're 6'2", uh, you might want to leave them a little higher. You can always go back, leave them long, and, and, and then cut them down until you get it where you want it. Um, now, I'm going to have to go over to you, uh, talk about the, the, the blue top, and what's important there to remember. When we get this top, you can see, it's put in here. Now what you got to look right here, there's also another piece of flag pole that I put right here. And I'll talk about that more in a minute, but let me put the top on. And it's going to be fun, because I need two hands. Almost the same size as the aluminum. The tip holes, oh, I'm going in the wrong part. It goes over here. Okay, I just go right down on the nipple, slide down. Ta-da! <laughs> so, that's that part. You'll note that there's a piece of flagpole going right across this, the back behind my head. And the way I made that is I had a bunch of flagpole left over, and this was kind of, it was tight as I could get it, but it needed a little more help. So I cut this piece and put, uh, heat shrink on the end. I love heat shrink. You, you can tell I talk about it a lot. Heat shrink. And put it on the end. I left the heat shrink a little bit of end, off the end so I wouldn't cut the top. And made this a little long. A little longer than it is. Once again, under tension. Real taut. That is simply wedged in there. And it's been in there for a month in high winds. It has not moved. Let me clip this back down the way it's supposed to be. See, it's tight. It's pulling. It's, it's, it's actually arched. Very strong. Yeah, I could probably pull that out of there if I tried real hard. Um, I got an idea how to make that even more secure. So this is still needs to be pulled down a little bit. But that tent pole is on this black line that came from the... Um, this was on here from the factory. Well, whoever made the top, the kayak top. So I have an idea how to make this better. If this top fails, I'm never taking this apart. Uh, I'm not going to replace the 
tent poles, if they snap or something happens, I'm gonna buy a new one and just fit it to this. I got, uh, um, you do whatever you buy, just remember, you know, keep your account in Amazon active so you can go back and see what you bought or order an extra one uh, if you want a replacement. Um, so what I've decided to do is because the way this goes, it's like a, a clothes hanger shoved up in a, in a sock. Um, so you really can't sew anything to this and still get that tent poles out unless you intend to never do that. So what I've decided to do, I'm pretty handy sewing. I'm going to sew some loops here. I'm going to tie it with Velcro down to the bar. That's how I'm going to secure this and pull it down. Because it could, in a gust of wind, it could yank this out of there. And I guess it'd be flapping around because it's tied off to the nose of your trike. But I, I don't think that's going to happen, but um, it's something I've been thinking about. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, I hope I didn't make this more complicated than it needs to be, because I'm uh, pretty good at building stuff, but uh, sometimes I don't talk about it as well as I do it. Anyway, uh, I don't know why the trike manufacturers don't sell something. There is a company out of France that sells a, a nice unit. Man, that's a lot of money. And I just don't see it. Uh, I don't like spending money for nothing better to do. Um, for 50 bucks plus some, uh, probably about $10 worth of goodies, maybe a little more. I bet I got $60 in this thing. Oh, I could change the color a lot for what that, uh, that fancy would cost. Uh, they got them to have LED lights that go around here. You can run down the street at night and glow, get in a parade and glow. Um, anyway, um, I'll try to edit this up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I like to teach. I taught a long time, and uh, I, don't, I love to share things with people. I hope that some of you, one or two of you, that don't want to get skin cancer or just wants to stay cool out of the sun. Um, it's kind of cozy underneath the thing. It really is. Um, Somebody said, well, you can't see, it's, it's, it's hampering your review. I can't turn my neck that, that far anyway. That's why I bought these mirrors. You use your mirrors, you can see a long ways, a heck of a lot better than sticking your neck around. Uh, to me, it's safer to use mirrors than it is turning your head around. I still rubber neck back. I can still lean out and look around, but I use my mirrors a lot. Hope you all enjoyed this. I know it was a little lengthy video. Hope you like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to put my rear fender on. It's in and that's my next video. I'm going to let you guys watch me do that. Another picture book story. Um, let you go, go with me and see how bad I can mess that up. And then um, I still got to go down and film Messiah in the Haunted Mansions down there. Um, that'll be fun. I'm going to probably do that Wednesday or so. Anyway, uh, hope you liked the video. Have a good evening.